by YouTube. Right, well, I still haven't had a chance to get canoeing. I've been busy building my roof rack this week, this time off. But um, I think next time I'm home, um, yeah, I'll be hitting the canoe, I think. Get out on the water for a bit. But I, I wanted to get this built because um, the roof rack that comes with the Jeep is not that great. Not very practical for carrying stuff around. And um, yeah, and, I, and I've been, you know, I'm trying to turn it into a bit of an off-roader looking thing. And um, to be able to use it off-road a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, and that involves having a safari basket. I think everyone should have one. And, um, so I'll show you around it. Um, it's pretty simply made. Um, basically, I just used. If I spin you around here, it's basically angle iron, um, the channel iron, with the holes in it. Um, 15 mil pipe, 25 mil pipe, and the bends for it. And then. <clears throat> Basically, I've mounted it to the original rack, um, which you can see here, using this, these U bolts basically and these cross beams that I've welded on. It's all welded. Um, they're not great welds. So I'm not still not very good at welding. Don't know why. Just can't seem to get the hang of it very well. But um, these were a really cool addition. Um, I was trying to keep the weight relatively low. Obviously, keep the build as cheap as possible. Um, and these were like I think. 70 crowns each which is like seven quid eight dollars or something each and they're still um, shelf brackets you know you mount them to the wall and then you hook your your bra shelf bracket itself onto that it worked really well and I've screwed them in it's solid as a rock and um, yeah I'm really rather chuffed with it to be honest I think it looks pretty cool let me get around the front so there's no glare on the screen there you go I think it looks pretty good. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, my world's a, a bit rough, but it, it's all held in. I've, I've ground, ground it down as you know smooth as I can get it. Um, it works pretty well, I, I think. As a first go, um, I messed up the first, the front stand up in the middle there. That one. It's, it went in at a funny angle annoyingly and um, as did the back one by the look of it <laughs> a little bit and in fact all of it is a little bit wonky but I don't care it looks good to me and uh, it's practical and uh, I know what you'll probably most people say is about wind resistance and noise and that really doesn't bother me um, the truck's annoying a noisy one anyway because it's just a big brick um, and square you get a lot of wind noise anyway uh, but I'm used to that now and there you can just see in there my shelf and my brackets got a fire extinguisher on there now, my axe so there you go guys, there you go, I'd like to hear your comments um, especially Raymond uh, uh, Raymond Logister, I hope I'm pronouncing that, pronouncing that right um, I know he's, he's really into his off-roading and he's, and he's got a Landy, Land Rover um, yeah, I'd like to hear your comments especially because you're obviously into all this kind of thing. And um, yeah, the, I mean the only thing I need to do now is I'm going to Raptor spray it. Um, I'm going to buy some Raptor liner and do the whole truck in Raptor liner because the paint is in particularly poor condition in spots. And uh, the, the guy that I bought it from has done a bit of a bodge job really on the spray. Um, not a very good job at all. The clear coat's coming off along the back. So it was all a bit of a rush job to sell it, I think. So for me, I'm going to mask it all off. Obviously take the rack off again. Wrap to spray everything. I might even wrap to spray the roof rack as well. I don't think I will because I think it looked better without that on it. But we'll see. But that's for future. That's not now. And um, mosquitoes are back in force. Go away. And um, yeah, so there you go. Anyway, I'm going to dash off now. So I'll um, catch you in the next vid. And uh, yeah. Look forward to your comments. See ya.